Amazon recently sent out an update to their hardware and their software that allows you to create a home theater system and it sounds and looks like this. And here's what it sounds like without this new feature. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation and home theaters in general as Amazon has given us a great update here to some of their products and services that allows us to create that home theater setup using a lot of existing smart home equipment. At least I had the existing equipment that was necessary. Now, let's start with what this system is, then I'll walk you through how to set it up, and then I'll talk about some of those pitfalls that you might run into here with the system, keep you on the straight and narrow path, hopefully. Now, what you need is pretty simple. The first thing is a Fire TV stick, a 4K edition, or the Fire TV Cube, and that has to be fully up updated and so does Amazon's voice assistant application. Now within that application then you can start a home theater system. It's not just the stereo pairing, that's what you guys probably saw before, but you can go ahead and utilize a number of different echo speakers to be used within this home theater system and right now you can pair two of any specific speakers, any of the ones you're seeing on screen right now. So I'm using Echoes, you can use Echo Dots, Echo Plus, Echo Shows, and then you can also go and take an Echo Sub if you have one of those and turn it into a 2.1 system there for your home theater setup. How to set this up takes just a few minutes and I'm going to show you that now. You will start in Amazon's Voice Assistant application and head down to the Devices tab at the bottom right. Then at the top right you will tap on the plus and go down to Setup Audio System. Next you will choose Home Theater and it will search through the different speakers you have attached to Amazon's Voice Assistant application here. You will choose the two or if you have a sub the three devices that you'd like to utilize within this system and you can switch swap the speakers. You can see I've named mine left and right echo and then you're just going to choose a name for your audio system. Then finally you will choose a room to put it in or to add it to a group if you'd like. Once you've done that, you've created the home theater group and it can be found down at the bottom of the devices screen. You can go in and if you ever want to, you can edit or unpair that. Now, when you go back to your Fire TV device, here's what you will see on screen. And then you can either skip this or play the preview that I'll show you now. What's amazing once you have this set up, this is a bit of the experience thing, is you can utilize any of those speakers to turn on the TV. You can ask to navigate through the different channels or the different applications that are on your Fire TV device. And you can also search by different content types. And I've been able to play specific movie titles if that's what I'm looking for as well. So there's a ton of things that you can do. Let me show you a couple of those. TV on. Now, although you see I just turned on the TV, you can actually turn it off as well at the end of your session using your voice or the remote. Search for Marvel. Here's what I found. You can, of course, search by actor, actress, or really any indice you'd like. Open Disney Plus. Getting Disney Plus from Fire TV. And if you'd like, by title. Start Thor Ragnarok. Getting Thor, Ragnarok from Fire TV. Now all of that can be done and I've just left the speakers in place. I haven't changed 
to different wake words or had to mute any of those speakers. They all seem to work very well together. Once you've put them into that home theater setup, that seems to be a big critical component to all of it working very well together. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about are some of those pitfalls that I have run into. And during initial setup, there were some quirks that I didn't talk about in the base setup. One of the things was that all of them had to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And you might say, okay, well, that's an easy thing. But uh, what I'm actually talking about is if one of the speakers was on 2.4 gigahertz and one of them was on my 5 gigahertz, even though they went to the same router or access, point it didn't matter they couldn't find each other they all the devices also had to be updated to the same version so they had to be updated to the most recent version and then I could find everything now I even tried I wondered if if I plugged in my fire TV cube directly to Ethernet what would happen there you can't do that and have your speakers on Wi-Fi at least not today any sort of spotty Wi-Fi at all will cause your speakers to drop out so you need really strong good signal Wi-Fi wherever you are and I tried this extensively I was utilizing 5 gigahertz which was a little bit of a weaker signal where I was and as soon as I tried to do that and continue to play things the speaker started cutting out kind of a weird one once in a while I'm getting hissing out of my echo speaker so this can be in stream and it can also be after I've actually closed the TV or shut off the TV and that actually it takes a full reboot of the speaker I have to unplug it and plug it back in now this is something that I feel will go away over time so not something I want to dwell on don't try a Bluetooth speaker I tried a number of them and most will introduce delays that the whole system can't deal with and uh, I don't even think it was working in most cases so give up on a Bluetooth speaker becoming part of this home theater setup at least right now the other thing is I really had to adjust the equalizer because I was adding a lot of different sound capability especially with the echo sub so I really had to tune down the bass to be honest or that was taking over a lot of the experience here within the theater I couldn't hear a lot of the dialogue going on in movies and sometimes I just got blown away by the amount of bass versus the volume that I'd kind of set it at so go into the equalizer for one of your devices and because they're in a home theater setup they adjust all of them but you'll need to do that for sure after that it's a pretty fantastic experience guys if you're having any issues go ahead leave those down below otherwise make sure you subscribe to automate your life as we walk through great tutorials like this that not only show you how to do it but keep you going with some of those pitfalls that we run into on a daily basis so of course guys thanks for watching and don't hate automate